Because yeah, bubbles of love. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so let's go ahead and add our cherry tomatoes. We can add some buffalo. The buffalo is twice as creamy. Three times as, as, as expensive as the Giorno Latte, at least. A little buffalo goes a long way. Too much of it will be tearing holes in your pizza because it, it does get wet. Neapolitan can be soupy. Usually it is. In Naples, how many people have been to Naples? You've been to some of those places, a lot of them are soupy wet. That makes sense to you guys. There's ways that you can make it soupy and there's ways that you can prevent it. You can dry out your buffalo, uh, buffalo a little bit. You can hand pinch it like I do because it doesn't have a chance to bleed. Sometimes when you cut your mozzarella and you keep it on your line, it just starts releasing uh, all the moisture and you grab it and it just becomes wet. Uh, you have some salt. Oh, oil. Uh, look at that, he's trying to trick you. So these GI metal peels are pretty awesome. Flour falls through it and it, you, have, you, know, you have an oven that's less uh, dirty. Good job, man. Nice, good job. Thank you, Carl. You get that first slice. And you know, when you have the wood peeled and you slide it, you know, you tend to have a good rear no, oven. I like the GI metal peels. So the Paulino that he's, he's taking it out with, and the banjo style peel that we're putting out with the uh, in and out peel, basically. There's another way, of course, you can build your pizza on a peel. For some of the people that are new, typically I do that with my New York styles. Um, but everything else, if I'm building on here, I'll either pick it up or slide it on. I always use those peels. You save a lot of flour and uh, your oven won't be as dirty. 